This lawnmower right here was underwater for, I think, six days. A lot of water, like five feet of water from the flood, right? I've heard that if you drain the fluids and air out the uh, cylinder, that it's possible to get it started again, or there's a chance that it may start again. All right, here we go. So what I want to do is get the spark plug off, get some air in there, get some water out of there, if there is any water in there. The recoil doesn't work, nice. Look at that. That is a gross, milky, chocolatey milk color. You know there's there's definitely something wrong with that. Oh, that's gross. Oh yeah, a lot of water in there. Oh, wow, that's a lot of water. So the next thing that I want to do, I've got, I did the, uh, the cylinder, the oil. Now let's do the gas. Oh, wait, okay. If we pull this off, it'll be amazing. If I pull this off literally, all right. Little bits of gas out of there. Drip, drip, drip. Or I mean, yeah, lots of little bits of gas and water, whatever's in the tank. Okay. So we got fresh oil. And empty gas tank. I'm going to screw the spark plug back in. So the recoil on the uh, starter mechanism is rusty. Let's look at it. And as you can see, I'm using adjustable pliers here instead of a socket, because I don't know where my small socket, uh, socket set is. Go get some gasoline, if we have any. And now for the moment of truth, let's start this baby. So I went to change or to, to take out the spark plug and and air out the cylinder a little more and I found that the spark plug wire was not seated on the spark plug properly. So I seated it and now I'm going to give you an exhaust view to see what kind of crap comes out if this starts. Alright, here we go. Alright, choke is on and let's go.